The drone world is buzzing again, and this time, it is not just a rumor. DJI has crossed an important milestone with its latest palm-sized drone, the DJI Neo 2. After months of speculation, leaks, and whispers across online forums, this little machine has now passed FCC approval. That might sound like a small bureaucratic step, but in reality it means something much bigger. For drone fans and creators, it is one of the last barriers before a new product officially hits the shelves. In the United States, FCC approval is like a green light. It tells us that the device is ready to move from prototypes and test phases into real production. It means that distribution and sales can begin soon. And in the world of drones, where anticipation often builds for months, this approval is a clear signal that the wait is almost over. For everyday creators, vloggers, hobbyists, and even casual explorers, this is exciting news. DJI is about to refresh one of its most accessible drone series with a new and improved model. The Neo 2 is not about reinventing the wheel. Instead, it's about refining a proven concept, keeping the portability, the simplicity and the fun, while adding just the right upgrades that actually matter in real-world use. Let's step back for a moment and look at what made the original DJI Neo such a success. The first model earned praise for being small, light, and incredibly user-friendly. It was designed with simplicity in mind. You didn't need to be an expert pilot to fly it. You didn't need bulky cases, heavy batteries, or endless gear. You could slip it into your backpack or even your jacket pocket and take it anywhere. For travel vloggers, that was a game changer. Suddenly, they could capture aerial shots on the go without worrying about luggage weight or complicated flight setups. For casual users, the Neo felt approachable and forgiving. If you had never flown a drone before, this was a safe place to start. It had stability, it had built-in protections, and it had preset modes that made your footage look polished even. If you had no filming experience, the Neo proved a point. Drones didn't need to be intimidating. They didn't need to be reserved for professionals with big budgets. They could be small, affordable, and still deliver beautiful results. Now, the Neo 2 takes that same philosophy forward. It is not trying to be a professional powerhouse like the Mavic 3 or the Mini 4 Pro instead. It is carefully upgrading the things that actually make a difference for every day. Flyers. One of the most important improvements is the battery. The original Neo had a 1435 mAh battery, which gave decent flight time for its size. But DJI knows that every minute in the air counts. With the Neo 2, they have bumped the capacity up to 1,660 mAh. On paper, that's about a 10 to 12 percent increase. It may sound small, but in practice it means two to three extra minutes of flight time. Now, if you are not a drone pilot, you might shrug at those extra minutes. But for someone in the middle of capturing a shot, those minutes are gold. Imagine you're flying over a coastline at sunset. The waves are hitting the shore. The light is turning golden and you're lining up the perfect sweep across the water. With the old battery you might be forced to land right before finishing. With the new Neo 2, you have those extra moments to complete the shot. Or imagine you're at a wedding or a festival, and you're capturing wide aerial footage of the crowd. Those two extra minutes could mean recording the grand moment instead of missing it. In drones, battery is freedom, and the Neo 2 quietly gives you a bit more of that freedom. Now let's talk about weight and design. DJI has managed to keep the Neo to incredibly light just 135 grams, that is well below the FAA's 250 gram limit, which is the threshold where drones require official registration in the United States. For travelers, this is a massive advantage. You don't need to fill out extra forms, you don't need to pay additional fees, you don't need to stress about complicated legal restrictions in many countries. This makes the Neo to one of the most travel-friendly drones in the market. You can pack it in your backpack or even slip it into a jacket pocket without worrying about weight or space. For people who are always on the move bloggers, digital nomads, explorers this is exactly what makes it appealing. But portability is not the only thing that makes the Neo 2 accessible. DJI has designed it to be approachable. For beginners, it still has full propeller guards, which protect both the drone and anything it might bump into. It supports palm takeoff and landing, so you can launch it from your hand and bring it down safely without worrying about complicated procedures. Dot, and perhaps most importantly, it includes quick shot flight modes. These are preset paths where the drone does the flying and framing for you. With just a tap, you can capture orbit shots, dronies, and cinematic pans. Even if you don't know the first thing about drone cinematography, your footage will look like something out of a professional. Travel film. This is where the Neo 2 really shines. It's not just a drone for experts. It's a drone that lowers the barrier to entry for anyone who wants to create, and the camera performance is still strong. The Neo 2 shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second. For a drone this small, that is impressive. It means you can create high-quality content without spending thousands of dollars. Pair it with a smartphone, and suddenly, you have the ability to elevate your production quality. Whether you're filming YouTube videos, TikToks, or just personal travel memories, affordability is another big factor. 
if DJI keeps the price near the original NEO's $199 range. The NEO 2 could easily remain one of the most budget-friendly ways to get professional-looking aerial footage. It's an entry point into creative videography that doesn't demand a big budget or a film crew, of course. There are always uncertainties. FCC approval is a green light, but it doesn't guarantee a perfectly smooth launch. We have seen drones in the past face customs delays or import issues. For example, the Mavic 4 Pro ran into trouble with US import regulations, which slowed down its release. So while there's no sign yet that the Neo 2 will face similar problems, it's worth keeping in mind. Still, what we do know is this. DJI is not trying to revolutionize the Neo line. They are not adding entirely new gimbal systems or massive sensor upgrades. Instead, they are making focused refinements, a stronger battery, the same trusted lightweight design, the same easy controls. These choices are not about chasing headlines. They are about making the drone more enjoyable and practical for everyday use, and the timing couldn't be better. With FCC approval in hand, the Neo 2 is expected to arrive in late 2025. Most likely it will be released in October or November, right in time for the holiday shopping season. DJI has played this card before, aligning product launches with the gift buying period. A compact, affordable drone like the Neo 2 fits perfectly into that strategy. Dot competition in the ultralight drone space is fierce. Rivals like the Rise Tele, the Hubson Xeno Mini, and even DJI's own mini series are all competing for attention. But the Neo 2 has a clear target audience people who want to shoot and share quickly, easily, and afford. The Mini 3 and Mini 4 Pro may be aimed at more advanced pilots. The Neo 2 stays focused on the grab and go crowd. So here we are. On the verge of seeing DJI's most travel friendly drone get an upgrade. The Neo 2 may not be revolutionary, but with longer flight time, extreme portability, simple controls, and a price that stays within reach, it could become one of the most creator friendly drones of 2025. Whether you're a travel vlogger, an adventure enthusiast, or just someone who wants to add cinematic shots to personal videos, the Neo 2 is shaping up to be one of the year's most exciting releases.